Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I plan on fixing my head gasket issues once and for all. I'm, I'm done doing this, so stick around and I'll show you what the plan is. After the last video I posted, um, a guy on YouTube reached out to me. Uh, he, he has a machine shop, a racing program, um, and he offered some advice on what he's done to, to solve head gasket issues in the past. And he recommended dry decking the block, and or he recommended dry decking the heads. And I'm just taking that a step further, and I'm going to dry deck the block as well. And what dry decking means is blocks and cylinder heads have these water passages around all the cylinders and it passes through the head gasket into the head um, so the, the surface of the block has, has water on it uh, or passing through it. Um, so what I'm going to do is seal up those water passages and just circulate water in the front of the head and then out the back of the head and then same way with the block. I'm going to circulate water in the front of the block and out the back of the block. And the water from the block and the heads will never come in contact. So uh, that guy, he goes by um, Ugly Kid Racing, I think, on, on YouTube and Facebook. You can check him out. Uh, but he recommended this, this epoxy stuff. It's called Pig Epoxy. It's, it's a high temperature epoxy. Um, and it's, it's a lot like JB Weld, similar to that. You... You break it off and mix it together and and it sets up after a while um, but that's what that's what we're gonna do to the block and the heads fill the water passages up uh, just the top of those water passages and after that we'll get the block and heads uh, resurfaced so that they're flat and then we shouldn't have any more water issues getting into the, the cylinders um, I'm doing this because of the issues that I've had. Um, I do think that they were somewhat tuning related or fuel related, but I also believe that it was a, a block surface, head surface issue as well. Uh, ever since this engine's been together, it's, it's never sealed 100%. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna fix that. And again, I'm doing it because of the issues that I've had, but also it's a, it's a safety thing. Uh, as fast as these cars are getting, having water um, that can escape outside of the engine and maybe get on the track and get under your tires at you know 190, 200 mile an hour, you can imagine that wouldn't be good. So uh, the way that I'm making this now is going to be a complete closed system, and unless a fitting or a hose breaks off, then there shouldn't be any water that escapes from the engine. Uh, and another reason, you know, I'm doing this is because um, I do drive this car a lot on the street and if I completely filled up the block and, you know, filled up the heads, made the heads solid, I wouldn't be able to do that anymore. It would overheat in a minute. So I'm doing this so that I can continue to drive the car on the street like I want to do with it and still be able to race it at a high level. So we're going to... We're going to give this stuff a shot and I'll show you. I've already done one side. Um, so what, what I've been doing, and I've done one side just to prove to myself that it would work, but now I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. Um, but I've leveled the, the block up, so you know, get it to where the surface is flat. And then I'm using sugar. I know it's crazy. Don't judge me, but it works. Um, I'm filling up all the water passages in the block with, with sugar. Uh, and that's really just a filler, just to take up space. Um, I'm filling up the entire block, leaving about a half inch from the deck surface, filling it up with sugar, packing it down in there, and then I'm coming back and putting the epoxy in each individual water passage on top of that sugar. And that sugar is just acting as a backer just to keep the epoxy in there until it sets up. And then afterwards, once the epoxy sets up, I take the, take the plug out of the side of the block, 
run some water through it and it washes all the sugar out from under the epoxy and you're left with just you know wide open water passages that you can circulate water through so i've already done that on the other side i'll turn you guys around here and show you what it looks like and then we'll work on on this side of the block so this is what uh looks like beforehand the water passages are wide open all all these big big water passages so this is what the other side looks like so as you can see i've filled up all these water passages and again this block will get get surfaced so all those will be be smooth and i am leaving this one open because that's where the water enters the the front of the block and goes up into the head and I, I thought about that for a good while but there is a, a stud that is directly in between that water passage and the cylinder so i'm fairly convinced that no water would ever ever escape here so water is going to enter the front of the block come up through here go into the head and then it'll come out the back of the head and and i'll show you guys that here in a little bit i still have to disassemble the heads and put a hole in the back of the head to put a, a fitting on but that's the plan and so far that that side worked out pretty good so i'm going to start filling up this other side of the block with sugar so that i can get the epoxy ready to go in and yeah i think it's gonna fix it all right so sugar going in the block All right, so sugar's in the block. <clears throat> I know that sounds crazy, but see the water jackets are full of sugar. And now it's time for the epoxy to go in on top of the sugar. And again, that sugar is just used as a backer just to keep the epoxy up at the top of the deck surface. So we'll put the epoxy in and then wash the sugar out from under it and it'll be good to go. Okay, got the epoxy in the block and you kind of see it here behind me got all the the surfaces of the water jackets full of epoxy and I just kind of took the top of that epoxy off we're gonna we're gonna deck this block so it'll be perfectly flat <clears throat> but it's good and we've got water flowing in the front of the block and out the side of it so all the sugars out from under that epoxy and yeah, so it's, it's ready to be decked and then we'll be good to go. And I'm ready to get the heads done. I actually already got one head done, so you can kind of see here. <clears throat> this one's already been done. See all the water jackets are full. I'm gonna send these heads back to TKM. They're the ones who put these top fuel hoops in and I'm gonna get them to take those top fuel hoops out, deck the, resurface the heads, <clears throat> and then put those top fuel hoops back in but I'm getting ready to start working on this head, putting the, putting the sugar in it and getting the epoxy in it. Here's, um, <clears throat> I had to drill and tap a, a hole in the side of the block 
and water will, will come out there. I'm gonna put water in the block the same way that it did from the factory, but had to get a, had to have a way to get it out. And then same thing for the, the heads. I drilled a hole in the, the back of the heads. That's just a plug right now, but I'm gonna put a 90 degree fitting in there. Water's gonna flow in the front side of the head and out the back. And I don't think this thing will have any cooling issues whatsoever. It's gonna be a lot of water flowing through everywhere, just not the surface of the heads and the deck. So, should work pretty good. But I'm gonna get started on putting the sugar in this other head and getting the epoxy in it. Right, the head's full got all the sugar down in all the ports so now I'm gonna start mixing the epoxy and getting it getting it in all those holes The holes are filled with epoxy so it takes um, takes a little while for this stuff to set up I'll just leave it overnight come back and chip the biggest part of it off and then like I said I'm gonna send these heads to TKM and get them to pull those top fuel hoops out and resurface them and a lot of times with aluminum heads guys will dry deck uh, all these water ports uh, just by welding up the, the holes and I could have done that um but these are <laughs> these heads are about junk anyways and i didn't want to put any more heat into them than what i have to um i've had a i've had a ton of issues out of these dart pro one ls3 heads so i just went ahead and put epoxy in them to keep the keep the heat heat down keep them from warping maybe and i had already planned on putting epoxy in the block i definitely wasn't going to weld the block up so I just put epoxy everywhere and I think it'll hold pretty good. Got both heads done and the sugar is washed out from, from underneath all the epoxy and I'll kind of show you guys how this works. Uh, I drilled a hole and tapped it for a fitting back here in the back of the head. And again, all the surface of the deck is completely sealed up except for that front hole. <clears throat> and that's what will, uh, That'll be the feed hole that comes in from the block. Uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of how this works. Got a water hose and putting it in the hole of the back of the head. And as you can see, there's no water coming out of the surface of the deck, just out of that front hole. So that should solve my issues as far as having coolant get into the cylinders. But we're gonna send these heads off to TKM and get them resurfaced and hopefully we'll have them back pretty soon and we'll be able to get this engine back together. All right, we got the heads back from TKM. They're back there on the shelf, uh, resurfaced. Everything's good there. Got the, the block resurfaced, it's ready to go. It's all, all dry decked and cylinder heads are looking good. Need to be cleaned up a little bit, but at least they're flat. TKM actually had to take quite a bit off of these heads, um, about 15 thousandths to get them back flat through the, through the center here. They were, they were pretty dished out. 
they took a 3000s cut and it hit the hit the edges and then they took a i think an eight or an, or a ten thousands cut and it got the majority of this stuff in here but still in between the cylinders all all in the middle there didn't get so they ended up taking fifteen thousandths off and now they're back flat and all the water jacket holes are sealed up and we got the new head gaskets so this thing's ready to start going back together so i just figured i'd put all that together so you guys could see how to uh dry deck an ls if if that's something that you wanted to do it's probably not necessary for everybody if you're running good fuel and got a good tune up in the car um and you're not trying to make 2000 horsepower then you probably don't need to worry about all this but um if there's other guys like me out there that's having issues keeping head gaskets on a 2000 horsepower ls then maybe this is a solution we're fixing to slap this engine back together and and see if it fixes our issues but i believe it will all right guys we'll see you later